give you a crater full of homework today, mister. Come on, Lloyd, run for your life! Hey, you ain't got it. Yes, superlative! I was worried, Lloyd. Noise Nebulon, defender of the galaxy, savior of all that is good and just. Today you are 13 years old. Today you are a man. Thank you, thank you. No pause, just money. Lord Boone! Lloyd, you are 13 now. The Empire needs your strength and maturity. Come, help me rule the universe. The only thing you rule, Boone, is the toilet. That does it. Prepare to meet thy doom. Three more helmet toys. <laughs> This universe isn't big enough for the both of us, Boone! You're going down! Don't be a fool! I... I... What the heck is that annoying buddy? Oh, yeah! Yes! Today, Lloyd P. Nebulon turns 13 years old! Today, I am a man! Master of my domain! Jolly birthday greetings, Lloyd. Greetings, Lloyd. Greetings, Lloyd. Jolly birthday greetings, Lloyd. Cha la 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 la. Second verse, same as the first. Jolly birthday. Oh, thanks a lot, Station, but I'm a little old for singing now, don't you think? Oh, well, I hope you're not too old for a gift. A present? Oh boy! I mean, that's very thoughtful of you, Station. Open it. Open it. Oh wow, it's a uh, uh... a toy spaceship, huh? huh? Pretty nice, huh? You don't like it, do you? Oh no, I like it. It's just that. Well, I'm 13, Station. I'm a man now, and men don't exactly play with toys. Happy birthday, birthday boy! Look what I brought you for breakfast. Captain Cubby Crunchies! Gee, thanks, Mom, but I don't eat that stuff anymore. What? But it's your favorite! <laughs> Lloyd, what are you doing? Looking for some food that's a little more adult? We got any brand flakes? Mommy, Mommy, I can't find Rosie! Now calm down, Francine. But Mommy, she's gone! Well, just try to remember where you played with her last. Where'd I put her? Where'd I put her? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Powers. Why can't I have a normal brat sister like everyone else? Mommy, I read Lloyd's mind and he called me a brat. Now, Lloyd. Commander Nebulon. Come ahead, Dunkirk. We've got a major problem on the bridge, ma'am. Ah! Barry's got his tongue stuck in his zipper again. Hey, help me, Commando. <sighs> I'll be right there. Well, I've got to get to work. Lloyd, take care of Francine. Make sure she gets to school on time and clean up this mess before you go. But, Mom, that's kid stuff. Well, you heard her. Get cleaning. Hey, you're not the boss of me. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm bigger than you are. So what? I can blow up your head by just thinking real hard. You wouldn't dare. Lloyd's got a lot of cleaning up to do. I gotta get my own place. Man, I can see it now. A big old gooey chocolate birthday cake topped with 13 candles. You know, the kind you can't blow out no matter how hard you try. A giant party of all the kids in school, even the ones you don't like. And finally, a field of presents as far as the eye can see. It's a month away from me, man. But for you, that's when tomorrow is now. Actually, Eddie, I've got slightly different plans for my birthday. I was thinking of a quiet dinner with cheese and fruit for dessert. And for a gift, clothes. Clothes? But buddy, we're talking birthdays here. Cake, ice cream, cool toys. Toys? I've turned 13. I can't be bothered with toys, cakes, and the other flotsam of childhood. I'm a man now, Edward. Edward? Why, I oughta... School docking completed. All right, kiddies. It's the moment of truth. I want your book report, subjects, and I want them now. Douglas, talk to me. Well, Mrs. Bolt, high plans are delved into the collective writings of Flatterly, focusing on his work concerning the theoretical matter and time matter cells in a fourth dimension subspace environment. Oh, you're a wild one, Douglas. Kurt, what's your read? I was hoping to try and finish this really hard book. The Little Brown Puppy Droid. Yeah, yeah, three years running. Try to get the stickers on the right page this time. Okay, Nebulon, what's it gonna be? Another installment of Nick Zircon's Space Agent? Actually, Mrs. Bolt, I've decided that book reports aren't the sort of thing a mature man such as myself should write. What are you talking about, Nebulon? Well, I've been thinking. Perhaps you and I could select a book together. I'd retire to my flat to read it, then you and I could rap about its various meanings. Perhaps over a nice cappuccino. Does anybody know what this boy's babbling about? You see, Mrs. Bolt, as of today, I'd like to be treated like a man, since, after all, I am 13. 13? 13? I'm 154 years old, Nebulon! Heck, I've got batteries older than you! <laughs> but okay, Mr. Man, I gotcha. You're too mature for a book report? Fine, you don't have to write one. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mrs. Bolt. I can see that... Instead, you can write me a small position paper on manhood. I I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, well, then let me clarify. You're gonna write me a 50-megabyte essay on what exactly it means to be a man. 50 megabytes? But I can't write that much! I don't know what to say! Hey, you're a big old grown-up now. Figure it out! But do it before the 8 o'clock bell tomorrow, Nebulon. Because if I don't have those 50 megs sitting on my desk by then, you'll be sipping those cappuccinos in detention for the rest of the year. Comprende? For next time, Lloyd, I highly recommend the puppy book. What? I thought 
my sensor detected a sentient life form outside the complex. Uh, what are you doing out here? Feeling like a loser. A loser? But last time we spoke, you seemed like a winner, excitedly about to embark on your manly journey. My manly journey is the whole problem, Station. I was bragging about it in class, so Mrs. Polk gave me the toughest assignment ever, a 15 megabyte essay on what it means to be a man. Well, it shouldn't be that hard, you being a 13-year-old and whatnot. As they say, write what you know. That's just it. I don't know. I mean, I've only been a man for eight hours and 33 minutes. I got no experience. You know, Lloyd, you may be onto something here. Perhaps what you need is a little help. Help? Certainly. In order to discover what it means to be a man, you simply need to learn how to act manly. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Only, who's gonna teach me? Lloyd, my man, I think I know just the guys. Okay, Jets, time for the showdown. I got two pairs. Me too, King Sun. I got three nines. Ha! I got me a straight! Lloyd, what have you got? Um, a pair of threes? Yes, it's all mine! Go get one you big, beautiful pilot ships. I hope you choke out of your bum. My deal, boys. Hey, Station, you really think playing poker with these guys is gonna help me learn about manhood? Of course it will, Lloyd. Games of chance and ribald camaraderie are the foundation of a manly life. <laughs> Gentlemen, Lady Luck has finally paid the postman a little visit. I call the bet that brings you five crontons. Nah, I got nothing. This hand's a wash. I'm an old-run guy. What about you, big guy? Oh, jeez. I guess I better fold, too. <laughs> Read them and weep, boys. Read them and weep. A pair of toes? But, but you said you had a great hand. You dirty toaster. You lied to me. Hey, you want to listen to the adulthood, kids? Adults not. <laughs> And people call me a sucker! <laughs> it's called bluffing, Lloyd. I'm afraid it's part of the game. Hey, you're ringing. Answer me, will you? Yellow? Huh? Yeah, he's here. Hey, kid, you got a holo call. Fetch it through, phony. Hey, Grandpa Leo, how are things on the retirement planet? Oh, just great. They turned down the gravity yesterday and my bum hip feels like new. I'm just calling to wish you a happy birthday. Say, uh, Lloyd, this looks like a pretty lame birthday party to around with a bunch of machines. <laughs> this is no party, sir. This is a poker game. You see, young Lloyd is doing some very important research regarding the sociological habits of the adult male. Yeah, the kid wanted to learn some real man stuff. Real man stuff? Dang it, Lloyd, real men don't sit around playing cards all day. They don't? Heck no. Well, what do they do, Grandpa? Simple, son. Real men fish. <laughs> Dang, you missed. We were even trying it. Okay, Grandpa. Keep at it, Lloyd. Venusian astrofish can be very elusive, but are considered quite a tasty delicacy. Oh, you can't eat them. Not since they put in that power plant satellite over there. Certain things are so contaminated, you can't touch them, let alone eat them. Well, what's the plan of fishing, then? What's the plan of fishing? What kind of orange-blooded boy has to turn twist you like that? Son, fishing is what being a man is all about. Testing your soul, conquering the elements, putting food on the table. So you can eat the fish? Young kid got sort of a smart mouth, don't you, Leo? Shh! Yes, come on, Lloyd! Reel her in, boy! Reel her in! <gasps> oh, yes, she's a bitch! Pull, son, pull! You can do it, Lloyd! I can't do it! <laughs> Boy, howdy, Lloyd, you blew that power plant up real good. It really was an accident, officer. Yeah, well, you're just lucky that plant was one of them new fully automated deals. Otherwise, someone might have gotten hurt. <laughs> good question, Fort. Hey, Lloyd, what exactly were you doing out there at that old fishing hole? Believe it or not, Officer Horton, I was doing my homework. Homework? Yeah, see, since it's my birthday, I'm supposed to write a report on what it means to be a man. So Grandpa took me fishing and... Aw, oh, never mind. I guess turning 13 really doesn't mean anything after all. Boy, it sure did when I was a kid. I'll never forget the day I turned a big 1-3. See, my dad was driving a shuttle out to Riggle 6, and I got to go along for the ride. Man, all I wanted to do was sit in that driver's seat like Paul. Anyway, somewhere out past the Barstow Nebula, Dad caught me sneaking glances at the steering mechanism. And would you believe it? He scooched over and let me take the wheel. Wow, that must have been amazing! 13 and driving! Oh, my mom would never let me do something like that. <laughs> you know, Bork, that's a pretty batch of snow shoes. Tell you what, Lloyd, why don't you just scooch on over and grab the wheel for a while? You... you mean it? Sure, try her out. We're still a ways out from base. <laughs> look at me! I'm doing it! Right? <laughs> not bad, Lloyd, not bad. Well, let me give you a little point. If a man wants to be in control, he's got to act like he's in control. I'm not sure I know what you mean, Mr. Horton. Well, I'm just saying, crank that seat back a bit, you know? Loosen up on the wheel there and bob your head, you know, sort of cool-like. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, this is great. You're in control as long as you act like you're in control. Hey, you know what we need? Some tunes. I'll just switch on the radio. No, Lloyd, not that button. <laughs> Any chance you won't tell my mom about this? One garbage scow in the shop for two weeks. Cost, 10,000 krontars. One police cruiser, totaled. Cost, 20,000 krontars. One geosynchronous power plant, vaporized. Cost, we don't know. Lunch money for one full week, gone. Gambled away to a, to a what? To a toaster, Mom. Right, right. Gambled away to a toaster. Have I left anything out? Um, that you would never think of actually punishing a guy on his birthday? Oh, Lloyd, what am I gonna do with you? I said I was sorry. Lloyd, you leave me no choice. You're grounded for a month. A month, but... Wanna shoot for two? Now, I have a lot more to say to you, but I've got to cross the galaxy and make nice to the interstellar conglomerate whose plant you vaporized. Until I get back, I want you in your room. But, Mom, you haven't sent me to my room in years! 
years. Maybe that's where I went wrong. <sighs> Brandon, how could she do this to me? I'm 13 years old, and she's treating me like I'm a 12-year-old. You know, Lloyd, since you are stuck here alone in your room, it might be an excellent time to get started on your report for Mrs. Bolt. <sighs> yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, let's see. My Life as a Man by Lloyd Nebulon. A man is... Uh, this is ridiculous! I don't know the first thing about being a man! I'm not a man, I never was a man, and I never will be a man! <sighs> I might as well face the station. I'm just a lousy, pathetic kid. Hello, Nebulon residents. <laughs> it's Trixie at Lovey's Preschool. Is her mother home? I gotta talk to her right away. Sorry, she's halfway across the galaxy. But it's an emergency! What's the matter? It's Francine! She's really upset about something, and no one can come down long enough to find out what it is! This weird house person going to the <laughs> Francine? Hi, Mom! Hi, Mommy! Francine, Mom is home! She's late! The people at the daycare center are trained professionals. I'm sure they have a situation totally under control. No time to argue, Station. Friends, he's in danger, and I gotta help her. But Lloyd, the police room is outside the station. You're grounded. You're not even supposed to leave. I hate it when this happens. Boomer, I need to go fast. I gotta get the little beans preschool right away. What's the matter, dude? You late for class? Boomer, this is an emergency. Sorry, Lloyd, but I ain't allowed to give over no cars to nobody under 18. It's regulations. Yeah, but it's called bluffing, Lloyd. I'm afraid it's part of the game. Look, you have to give me a car because uh, I got this. What is it? A special permission chip from Commander Nebulon. It's decoded with data authorizing me to drive space vehicles in case of emergencies. Well, a permission chip poker chip. What do they think I'm next? Yes, they're very clever. Now, how about that car? Well, I guess I could let you take this old junker here. Wait a second, you almost got me there, man. You're about two feet too short to reach the pedals. Well, maybe I am, but you're not. Man, this is choice. I haven't been out of the station in weeks. Just step on it, Boomer. You got it, little buddy. Whoa, oh, this is the buzz. Boomer, what are you doing? I'm not supposed to leave the garage for various reasons. Cover for me. Cover for you? But I'm just a kid. Just flash him your permission, Chip Poker Chip. Oh, man. Why me? Why me? Everything okay over there, son? Oh, uh, yes, sir. I was just, uh... If a man wants to be in control, he's got to act like he's in control. Yep. Everything's under control, officer. All righty. Have a good day there, sir. Excellent. Now, let's get you to that swimming pool. Preschool, Boomer. Right. You must be pretty proud of yourself. You got to sneak out of the house, completely disregarding my orders to stay in your room. And since you've been named honorary hero for life at Little Beings Preschool, I can't do anything about it. On the other hand, Commander, Lloyd did learn what it means to be a man. Oh, that's right, I forgot. The big lessons of manhood. Being a man is knowing how to bluff, drive a car, and fish. No, Mom, that's not what being a man's all about. It's not? No, that stuff did nothing but get me grounded for a month. Being a man's about something much bigger. It's about doing the right thing, even if you might get in trouble for doing it. It's about taking care of the people you love, no matter what. It's about putting someone else's needs in front of your own. It's about... Go on, Lloyd, go on. Kim, um, I just realized I got a paper to write. But what about your cake? Oh, uh, have tomorrow for breakfast. Cake for breakfast? Mommy, is Lloyd growing up to be weird? No, honey, I think Lloyd is growing up to be just fine.